I've got very fond memories growing up in Quixote. It, it, it's a small sub-location beside Lake Naivasha, which is a very beautiful lake. The thing about Quixote, being on a lake basin, drainage was not the best, so you'd always have a lot of pools of stagnant water, and that, that's what forms the breeding ground for mosquitoes. I'm a single mother in church. I'm a, I'm a worshiper. I'm a praise and worship team. And also I sing in the choir. Na tukikuja hapa, tukikuja na mom. Mom di alikuwa, alikuja hapa in 1990. But unfortunately, alikuwa na go, ame gonjeka. Na by 1997, ya kahaga. And she just passed on. Aka gonjeka, aka pata cerebral malaria. This is where I grew up, home sweet home. My dad being a primary school teacher and being the only breadwinner in the family meant that from a financial perspective, we were constrained. I've had malaria multiple times. Um, in our circumstances, when kids got sick, you'd have the parents really trying to manage the symptoms before they accept the sacrifice of having to go to a doctor Behind this little fence, a very precious neighbor that we grew up with still lives here. When I was pregnant, it is when I started feeling dizziness. That is the time I felt that something was not going on well. Wow. My mind was not telling me it was malaria. My mind was telling me it's maybe the complications, the pregnancy complications. But unfortunately, I started bleeding. I flashed back. My mother died of malaria. So I feared losing my pregnancy. I joined SC Johnson in the year 2016. I'm an engineer by training, and my background has been in manufacturing. I have been involved in the project that is aiming to bring to life spatial repellents, which is an innovation in the fight against malaria. That natural airflow is what emanates the active ingredient, which then repels mosquitoes from a room. Spatial repellents keep the mosquitoes away. They are not necessarily the, um, killing the mosquitoes, but they are making sure that that mosquito will not come anywhere near you which is very, very unique as a technology. There are communities um, who live in very inaccessible areas, and we are looking forward to collaborating with different partners on this to make sure that this product is available to them. Malaria cannot be treated or prevented in isolation. I think the approach is to use as many interventions. So one of course is social behavioral change, you've got uh, aerosols, you've got nets, this technology is just one of those things moving forward that might help us eradicate this disease even faster. One, it is small, it is simple, and it is very durable. It can be put by anyone, put anywhere. When I saw a spot of blood, I sensed something was not all right. So I went to a Naivasha District Hospital, a bigger hospital. I had severe malaria. And I was very lucky I went on time. Fortunately, God helped me, and I was treated, and I survived. And I didn't lose my baby. This is my boy. Yeah. Wow. He loves riding bike. He loves swimming. I love him so much. And we are so close to each other. Good Very to see you. Nice to see you too, Mapo. How have you been? I'm good. Elizabeth's family was next door neighbors to us, so the family was very close to us, and we 
pretty much were raised together. I know how much work you do in mm. the fight against malaria, mm. not just for you but also for your community. Mm. But I've brought you something very special. Nini? This is a product that we have been working on mm -hmm. um, in our fight against malaria. It's a repellent. Mm -hmm. If you just keep it in your room, mm -hmm. it should repel mosquitoes. The special repellent is very easy to use. It will make me feel safe and happy. I dream of the day when we are going to say we have eradicated malaria in our generation. And I do believe that the special repellents that we have started manufacturing will contribute significantly to that journey.